and welcome to an episode on my YouTube. If you guys are new, thanks for joining. Please hit subscribe on that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content. It really supports my channel um, and it literally takes you guys like two seconds. So it's appreciated. Maybe one second, maybe 0.5 seconds. Um, but I'm going to do Q&A for you guys and get ready with me because I was going to get ready for the day anyway. This, you guys, has changed my life. I've probably been using this for like five years. So what I do is I wet it first. Um, and then your girl uses the Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani. I normally use some type of like beauty oil too, but I'm out. So actually, this is what I use very first off. Um, it definitely, it's Smashbox and it's called Photo Finish. And basically what it does is like it fills in all the pores in your face so that when you put on the foundation, it's like super smooth. Um... Okay, I'm forgetting all my steps here. Wanted to show you guys this real quick. So I used to spend a lot of money like on face moisturizers and stuff like that. But honestly, at the end of the day, I don't see that much of a difference. Wrinkles are wrinkles and blemishes are going to be blemishes for the most part. Um, so I got this on um, Amazon. And if you guys like an SPF, this is really light. I like light and not greasy. Um, my face is pretty dry. But um, another thing is um, I've been using this a lot because I'm not really out in the sun as much. I kind of stay inside um, unless I go to the gym. So I'm going to use this today because my skin feels pretty um, dry. My mom turned me on to this. I think it's like five bucks at Walmart or something. Um, it's a little bit thicker, but it's like literally amazing. You only need a little bit too, like a little bit goes a very long way. I just put it all over my face. And then I also put some on my chest right here. I don't know why, but I think because I sleep to my side, I feel like I'm getting wrinkles on my chest. If anybody has any tips on how to <laughs> fight that, please let me know because your girl's 36 now and now we're fighting these wrinkles and stuff like that. Um, <sighs> okay, so that's done. Step two is the primer. Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer by Smashbox. I only put a li little bit. A little bit goes a very long way with most makeup. Um, so it's not like you have to like super overdo it. And I'm also going to be... I'm not like a beauty guru, so I don't know how they set that up exactly. I do have like a beauty light on, um, so I'm going to be looking in this mirror while I talk to you guys and while we do our makeup, okay? So, the next step is, I promise I'll <laughs> answer some questions too. So, I literally just put like one and a half. Okay, and then I normally, like I said, I use like an oil um, to mix it, but I don't know if that really makes a difference because Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is amazing. It's very lightweight. I've been probably using this for like maybe, I don't want to say like three or four years, and for me, I don't like it really cakey. Um, I have a Chanel as well, and when I go out at night um, or if I'm doing like something more than just going out, in the nighttime, in the nighttime, in the evening. Um, I'll just go heavier on makeup, but that's rare too because I rarely even put on makeup anymore. It's literally like just once a week, if that. So I just lightly put this on like this. And a lot of you makeup people out there that know how to really put on makeup, please do not judge me because I'll get people in the comments like, you're supposed to do it like this. And I know I'm supposed to probably do it better, but this is the way I do it, and people seem to like it, and I think it comes out pretty good. Um, I got into makeup a while back, and it really <sighs> changed my life on the way that I put on my makeup. That's, like, something that I feel like that they should put in, like, high school, is, like, how to do your makeup. Because some people just don't know how. I mean, I didn't know how properly for a very long time until I taught myself. Um... And I feel like we start wearing makeup pretty early on, right? Like middle school or something. So anyway, I'm going to answer a couple questions um, that were asked on my Instagram. I posted a, a Q&A, asked me questions. Um, the first one is from Um, 
and I apologize if I'm not saying your guys' names right. I'm sure that a lot of these are just like the IG usernames and these are not your real names. Um, but anyway, how did you get the confidence to show up on social media as your authentic, authentic self? Um, so I get asked this question a lot. Like a lot of my girlfriends are always like just like, um, cause they'll like want to be on my YouTube and stuff like that. And then they'll be like, by the way, you're not supposed to go like this. You're supposed to, uh, like dab it in when I'm in a rush. I, I do that like, like this and then I get yelled at by people. But anyway, okay. If you, you guys notice I'm like all over the place. Okay. That's just me. I have a little bit of ADHD. Um, I can never just be on one track. I know there's a lot of people like that out there. Anyway. So, um, how did you get the confidence to show up on your social media as your authentic self? So, um, a lot of my girlfriends, like, you know, they don't like to be on camera unless they have makeup on. Like, I get that. Um, but I started on social media, like, when it kind of first, well, when it first came out in 2010, I believe. And, um, it literally was not a thing. Um, I was just competing and I was like super shredded because I was always competing at that time. And so there was not a lot of people like that on social media. I think it was like Paige Hathaway and Michelle Lewin were like the first and me. Um, and now there's like thousands and tens of thousands of fitness people. Um, but um, I just, I don't know. I just like how I get on here with you guys. I feel like I'm my truest self here. I don't know why I feel self-conscious on Instagram versus YouTube um, because you really get judged on both of your social media platforms, but it's just something that always came natural to me. Um, I never, on here at least, oh, I guess on Instagram too, I really do show like my true self, like when I gain weight or I do show myself without makeup on. It doesn't mean that I don't feel self-conscious though. I'm not like super confident without any makeup on. So I want you guys to know that I'm human and I'm not just like super confident all the time, even when I look crazy um, or when I get up in the morning and I just put the camera in my face. Um, but um, I, it's just always been in me to be that way. Um, I don't know. Some people just literally can't be on social media without a filter or without completely done up makeup. But I feel like that's probably why I've lasted so long. Like the longevity on my social media is because people can relate. Um, I feel like a lot of people can't relate to certain people because they're always fit. Like they never gain weight or they're always done up. They always look perfect. And that's just not reality. This is reality. Um, so also, real quick, uh, Makeup Forever, uh, my shade is 30.5 on this, and I tend to put a good amount on, and I put it all the way out here. Um, and then also, I don't know if I mentioned that this was a 6.5 shade for me, and I think I have like an olive tone with a yellow undertint or something like that. I forget how they say it, so... Now we're going to blend this, we're going to tap the same way. like 10 years younger makeup is amazing sometimes I don't recognize myself in the mirror because I can't even talk right now sometimes I don't recognize myself in the mirror because sometimes it'll be like two three four weeks and I literally well would have not done my makeup like at all so I'm like who is this beautiful girl in the mirror I don't recognize her what's your favorite go-to face wash from underscore corna so this for makeup is absolutely amazing. I've tried to do like off brands. I think like Costco, the makeup wipes. This also comes with the makeup wipes and I use this when I, when I travel, but this is literally the best for makeup um, or just face wash in general, honestly. Normally when I don't have any makeup on, I won't do any type of uh, face wash. I kind of just put water over my face in the shower. I'm super strict about washing off my makeup and putting lotion on 
before I go to bed because I personally don't like all the makeup smeared on all my stuff because a lot of my stuff is lighter colors like my pillows and my bed sheets and stuff like that and it will be a makeup massacre in the morning okay guys <sighs> next question is from mo underscore love 83 and it says how old are you I am 36 36 and thriving um I feel like after you get over 35 I don't know things start becoming really serious um like it like I seriously got into this phase of I will do a house tour for you guys but I got into this phase of uh, organizing everything so for like the last like probably four to five months I've been organizing everything and then when I moved into my new place I was literally so focused on organizing everything um, and that has been a life changer for me I feel like it's not even just like I know where everything's at and I don't have to buy things twice because that was like literally my, my biggest thing is I always bought things twice and I'm like I knew I have that somewhere in the mountain of stuff and it was like finding a needle in a haystack so I would just buy it for like 10 15 bucks you know whatever um, but I'm organized now and it literally makes my brain feel less cluttered. So I feel like a weight is lifted off me, like literally. So if you're that type of person that's just not organized or, do or doesn't put like things away, um, and your house kind of always has like little things here and there, God, it just really helps me just be more at peace with a lot of things in my life. Uh, being organized is amazing. Okay, guys, I get way too, this is... I don't know how to do this. I have to like talk and do my makeup at the same time, but I'm not used to this. So this is, dang it, what is this? I actually have an extra one, so I'll let you guys know. This is Studio Finish Concealer SPF 35. And I use this as a um, eyeshadow, like it helps better with the eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer, I feel like. This I don't really dab, I kind of just pull on my eyelids. I'm gonna do this a little bit faster so that you guys are not here for like a total hour with me um this is the anastasia brow definer um i use it in medium brown and this is like the thicker one that i use uh it's brow definer so what this is this is like a crayon but it's like so old and crusty do you guys have those old and crusty things you just can't get rid of so I have to like put the end of my thing in here and then I literally just go over my nose like this let's get a little bit on there and I dye it um then I actually rub this with my fingers but um from Sen Twin are you and Chris still engaged? I'm sure this question will be asked a lot. This is a question that I've been getting asked a lot over the last several months. Um, straight up reality, uh, Chris and I have been off and on and that's a lot of relationships. Um, I feel like a lot of people on here will come and be like, oh, you're like, you guys are not together. You guys are back and forth. Why can't you guys just be together? Anybody that has a perfect relationship, which doesn't exist, please drop your comments and let me know how perfect your relationship is. Um, I don't want to get too much in depth, but no, we are not currently engaged, um, but we have been um, together off and on uh, for the last year or so. And we continue to get counseling, um, and we are not together at the moment, but we do still see each other and we still do hang out. That's all I'm going to answer for now. Um, so I hope that kind of answers some of your guys' questions. Um, and then also I think a really good question that someone's asking is, um, how do you deal with negativity? Um, Bonita Fit 01 and your next clothing launch. So how to deal with <laughs> negativity? Sometimes, I mean, I'm human, right? So like sometimes I have my days to where like, I don't want to be messed with, like I'll wake up and like, I'm just like, 
just, I don't know, didn't sleep right or I'm just like in a, you know, irritable mood, you know, just like normal everyday people, you know. I'm sure you guys wake up and you guys don't feel like anybody being up your butt and telling you how to live your life and that is social media um there's even like outlets um i don't read anything on this but i know people that read like reddit and it's like super toxic like people will talk about like really mean mean stuff talk about people's lives and just like everything like the way people look if people have gained weight if people have lost weight who they're with who they're not with and you can tell like in these comments like these people are absolutely miserable with their own lives they're so caught up on these influencer lives that they literally are just incredibly negative i don't even know how people come up with the things that they say i'm like geez that person really has to be a miserable person inside like how can they say such mean evil things it's crazy to me um so sometimes when people slide in my dm and they just say stupid stuff i'll literally come at them and say stupid stuff back not stupid stuff but i'll be like you know like i'll just tell them exactly how it is and they'll be like oh, how why would you said that you're an influencer you're not supposed to like be mean and i'm like you are literally mean to me why can't i be mean back for like once everyone's always like oh take the higher road but no i do believe in defending yourself as well you can only take the higher road like so many times until you're just like you know what today's not the day don't f with me you're gonna hear it from me if you dm me so um for the most part though i just ignore it you know it sucks but it comes with the territory i feel like when people see you doing well in your life working hard something that they're not willing to do um and you know getting places in your life whether it be like the way you look or in your business or in your relationship um or just being happy um i share all the ups and the downs with you guys normally on this channel um so i don't ever act like it's all you know flowers and whatever and sparkles because it's not um but for the most part i guess you just get used to it and that's pretty sad too because um you know people on the other side of the camera like me are real um, and we do have real feelings and I just don't understand why people think that we don't, you know, it's pretty sad. So I appreciate you guys, um, in my comments, um, recently I had somebody saying, oh, why are you, you film us and then you ghost us, like, you need to, like, get it together and, like, be more consistent. And it's like, people aren't consistent in their lives because life's crazy and sometimes life will just stop you in your tracks and, like, over and over and over you know what i'm saying so like now i'm in a better place to film you guys could probably tell like my mood's better i have my own place now so it's easier there's not all kinds of noise going on and just i feel better to you know to connect with you guys again um but then a lot of you guys are in my comments and a lot of you guys um defend me so i appreciate every single one of you guys because you guys are the real mvps um but I'm going to do my best to write down everything that I'm doing as far as getting ready because I feel like um, you guys like to know what products I use and stuff like that. So um, so it, it's nothing, like I said, you just get used to it and it's sad that, you know, this is my line of work. Not that this is my line of work because I enjoy what I do, but it's sad that people have to be so mean, you know? Like, we just live in a world that people just can't be nice. And they can't be happy for other people's happiness. And I understand why it's because those people are not happy. Literally, they say, no one will hate on you that's doing better than you type thing. So if someone's commenting bad things, they're probably just not at a good, in a good place in their life. Um, and they just want to, you know, speak and it literally is coming from a place of insecurity of their own so um that's always going to come with the territory so i appreciate all of you guys that always defend me and always got my back and understand that i am human as well um oh and then the next question was when is my next clothing line came, coming out so um having multiple businesses can be very uh I don't even know what the word is. It's, just, it's very complex, like emotionally, financially, like staying 
motivated, staying inspired, staying consistent. Um, and I felt like I got overwhelmed with my last collection. Um, and I've been doing really big launches. Like it's all like talk of numbers with you guys. It's like 60 to $80,000 each um, apparel launch. And I've done two in the last year and about a year and a half. And um, it's going slower than I had hoped, but there's just a lot of things going on and I do everything right now. Um, my team's gonna get bigger very soon. I already know that, but for now I'm handling everything. So, um, it's not always easy to stay consistent. That's with anything in your life. And I'm trying to be better at that. That's being more organized. Like I told you guys, I'm like really big into being organized and I'm just really big into trying to be more consistent in my life with everything, with work, with personal, with gym, with my diet. Um, so, um, I'm working on one right now. I'm actually putting in the order this week. Um, it's going to be a smaller launch. It's probably going to be like a third of that amount. So, um, instead of launching like three to 4,000 units, meaning units is like a piece of clothing, like in each individual clothing is a unit. Um, for, for those of you that don't know what that means, I learned what that meant, um, when I got into, uh, the designing world and apparel world. Um, so... Normally it takes about, because of COVID overseas, it probably takes about three to four months to get another collection here. Um, but then I have two other collections right after that. So um, I'm going to try to space them like three months in between. So make sure to watch out for that. And um, I still need to do a try on haul for you guys for the canvas collection because there still are pieces in that collection um and i didn't do i didn't even do a try on all here so i will do that try on haul for you guys very soon i'll try next week to do it um and then from samuel arevalo underscore why are you so beautiful thanks brother love you uh let's see uh, someone said, "Will you show your restaurant entries that help you while you going while you go out to eat, like Mexican sushi?" Um, so I don't do Mexican or sushi when I go out to eat, and I'm counting my macros. I normally do. Um, I normally do like uh, Firehouse Subway, Firehouse sandwiches, or Subway um, things that are tracked. And Chipotle is something that I that I. Um, I can eat when I'm out as well. Um, so those are the places that I go to normally. That's like three of the places. I don't really go anywhere else. Uh, oh, Panda Express. But sometimes it's not always extremely accurate because sometimes people will give you more than they're supposed to or less. See what I just did right there? That takes, that, that's about five years. Maybe like five, ten years experience with false eyelashes. You guys always ask me which eyelashes I use too. These are the Ardell Wispies. Um, they're just the Wispies. They're longer than the Demi Wispies. The Demi Wispies are um, a lot shorter and I actually double them. So I use two and stack them on top of each other because I like the fullness. And if I don't get it on all the way, I use my tweezers to perfect that and push it on to make sure. I just started doing this like a year ago, pushing them on with tweezers to make sure that we are getting the proper amount. The glue on the eyelids, they stay all day. Perfect. Okay, so that's basically how I look, dry them off a little bit, then I'll put um, mascara underneath a little bit. Sometimes I'll do a light layer of um, eyeliner as well, but we don't have to do that today. Mm. And then I do Urban Decay All Nighter. This is like my favorite. I never used to know what this was, but it's basically hairspray for your face. So it helps everything just kind of stick and stay in place. Um, especially on those crazy nights out. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to kind of show you guys just like the 
how I do my hair and then the finishing look. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I do use. Um, so since I'm always in the gym and stuff and I wear hats and stuff like that, I w use dry shampoo. I started using the um, Dry Bar Detox Clear. It's a clear. It's kind of white still, but it's not as white. And then I don't like the dark one for the dark hair because it's like too, like too much color so I use a little bit of this um, and then before that though I get gray hairs you guys <laughs> like I don't know maybe that's just like the Filipino or the Mexican I don't know but I get gray hairs now so I used to dye my hair like consistently like every two to four weeks and it's just annoying so somebody recommended this to me it comes like in a little thing like this so you guys can see um, I learned this trick from uh, when I watch makeup crews. They put their hand like this so it kind of focuses better. Um, but you kind of just put this in the area of the white hair and it really does help a lot. It's like a, a game changer. Um, and for now, I bought this at Marshalls actually. I usually normally use Big Sexy but it's a little bit too hard as for the daytime. So I'm using the Kenra, which smells super good, um, but this is the Platinum, so it's a 15 out of 20 adjustable um, hold setting spray. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, oh, hold on, let me show you guys this too. So I use about one and a quarter inch barrel, I believe, or it's one and a half. I, let me see, it shows. It actually doesn't show. Um, but it's hot shot tools. Um, I normally get this at uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. <laughs> and I think it's a one and a quarter inch barrel. So that's what I use. Um, those are my hair products right now. Like I've been using those for a while. Um, so anyway, I appreciate you guys. Um, oh, also, I always wear my signature little diamonds. I always have to take these off at night because I can't sleep with earrings in my ears. It just like bothers me way too much. So I literally have probably went through like a thousand diamond earrings. I've even lost real ones. That's why I don't buy real ones anymore. I normally just buy these from Amazon. Um, but anyway, thanks for coming to this Get Ready With Me. I appreciate you guys so much. And I just really thank you from the bottom of my heart for, I don't know allowing me to be in your guys' life and finding me somewhat entertaining or inspiring or motivational or whatever. I appreciate you guys. Um, and I hope that this sit down talk, um, Q and A, get ready with me. I was able to connect with you guys a little bit more. I felt like it anyway. I was able to open up a little bit more. So love you guys. I'll show you guys the finished look. Thanks for joining. Heartbeat